Hi, Ant here again, and in this screencast, I'm going to show you how we import a MIDI file into Pro Tools and then use the Pro Tools instruments to play back the MIDI file, okay? On Blackboard, there are four MIDI files. I think it's under readings. Um, you're gonna be using them in an uh, exercise that's coming up soon for your first assessment. Uh, okay, so let's go to File, Import, MIDI. And then we choose the MIDI file we want. I've got this one, the tide is high here. And we can either choose to import it to tracks or to the region list. Now, I actually want to bring in the tempo information from this MIDI file. So I'm going to do new track, okay? Location, session, start, that's fine. And then I'll go, uh, oh, sorry. And then I'll click import tempo map from MIDI file. And then I'll go, okay. So now that's brought in all of our MIDI tracks with the tempo. Now, the only problem we've got here is that these are MIDI tracks, okay? Um, and these don't have instruments attached to them. These are just, so you would use the MIDI tracks either to send MIDI to another instrument track or to an external device, like a hardware MIDI device. So the problem we've got is that we need to get all of this MIDI data onto instrument tracks. So we've got six, one, two, three, four, five, six, MIDI tracks there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create six stereo instrument tracks. Okay. And then I'm going to alt and click here so we can see everything. And then I'm just going to select all of these MIDI tracks, the regions rather on the tracks, and just let's just drag them down here. Okay. And then I'm going to delete these original MIDI tracks we had. So now we've got six MIDI tracks with MIDI data on, okay? So let's start using instruments in Pro Tools to play back this MIDI data. So let's start, I've moved the drums up to the top. I'm gonna to rename that, drums. So let's start with the drums. So I go to the mixer and I'm going to pick expand two as the instrument I want. And I'm gonna go up to the presets and drums. And I'm going to select, let's just say for now, live drums, okay? Now, MIDI files should come in with all the notes conforming to the general MIDI standard, which would mean that 99 times out of 100, if it says drums and you put it on a drum instrument in Pro Tools, it should work. Okay, so let's have a listen. Yep, so that's fine, that's playing back okay. So that's the drums, now we've got the bass, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna get expand, and I'm going to go to the presets and look at bases, and let's select, uh, what are we gonna have? Let's have soft finger bass. Okay. So the next track is the organ. Okay. So I'm going to go into my instruments and I'm going to use the DB33, which is the organ emulator. Okay, so next we've got guitar. And again, I'm gonna use expand for that. Let's try a different sound. Studio Strat. <laughs> now remember, these are just the default sounds. We haven't edited them or anything yet. Okay, so melody. That's going to be sort of the vocal melody line. So 
So for that, I'm going to try something a bit different. Let's put vacuum in there. It's very loud. Sorry about that. So I'm going to bring up like a lead sound. And I'm going to bring it up to where the melody starts. So that's the, the melody of the vocals. And then the last one we have is the brass fills. And again, I'm going to go to expand. some synth brass. Let's hear the brass fills. So there you go. So I've got all those tracks running on Pro Tools Instruments. Now, it all sounds pretty cheap and nasty at the moment, although I quite like that, I must admit. Um, but everything's running now, so we can tweak those sounds uh, to our heart's content. And remember, because we're dealing with MIDI files, you can also just go into the MIDI parts and edit them as well if you wanted. So if you wanted to change the notes or if you wanted to change the, the rhythm, make it swing, anything like that, you can do all of that. Okay, so hopefully now you're up to speed on importing MIDI files. So just remember the crucial thing is that when you import it in, it will just be on MIDI tracks, but they need to be instrument tracks. Okay, hope this has been useful and I'll be back soon for more screencasts. Thank you.